this is another segment of my adventure in Korea. I just got to Daegu the today from uh, Jeonju Epic's orientation site and they were in the midst of cleaning my apartment when I got here to my apartment. Uh, so I'll give you a brief recap of the day. Uh, I woke up at 5 o'clock because my roommate had to go to Busan at 6.30 and then I couldn't quite fall back to sleep. I was kind of falling back asleep but it wasn't really sleeping and then my bus was leaving at 9.30 so I went down there early and I had to load my luggage onto a truck all four parcels of it and my converter box and the other millions of things that I had brought with me and then after that uh, we got on the bus and it took about two and a half hours to get to Daegu once we got here we were taken to a big room where there were all of our co-teachers and from there we I went to the school and I met the principal of the school we talked I had to stay there until 4.30, so I also met several other teachers, and I already got the teaching materials for Monday, because I'm starting on Monday, and then when I came back here, my apartment wasn't completely clean, they said 6 o'clock, and so I needed to find some other stuff to do. This young man, Mr. Park, he's actually older than I am, but he was very nice, he took me out, um, showed me where the shops were, I bought some stuff for my bedroom and uh, then I also got some food. Uh, he bought me some kimbap, which is sort of like sushi, but it's like Korean, and there's not really any raw fish in it. It's Kim, I guess, means seaweed, and bap means rice, so it's like a combination of seaweed, rice, and usually they chop up like little carrots or other vegetables that they put in there. And um, then basically I started unpacking everything, and now I'm pretty much exhausted, but before I head off, I'll give you a tour of my apartment and kind of talk about some things that um, I notice. Okay, so the first stop is the door. Actually, this door uh, is like most Korean doors. I, I shouldn't even say most because I've basically just seen the door at the university and this door. Um, it is an electronic lock, meaning I push the button, it unlocks the door there is a deadbolt. Outside the door, this is the hallway obviously, there is a keypad and I had to put a numerical code in um, to the keypad that locks and unlocks the door. This is my spy hole as well as my doorbell. Well, okay, I probably heard that. I'm 305. There's a large cupboard here where all the shoes can go. Um, as you notice in the floor, there's like sort of a little uh, tile area where people can take their shoes off. You should take your shoes off whenever you're entering inside a um, building, I guess especially a school or someone's home. And then once you come inside, um, Mr. Park took me to the store and I bought these lovely slippers. Uh, these are I, what I wear around the house. Um, the floors are, I guess they're wooden, but actually I'm not sure. This is my refrigerator. It's charming and wonderful. Um, you know, here's the microwave. Uh, luckily, my Korean co-teacher kind of explained these buttons a little bit. Uh, I basically understand. I press this button. It starts the microwave for 30 seconds, which means I'll probably be pushing it many times. This button stops it and opens the door, I think. Um, this is the oven. There is a gas line, which must be turned on and off. Right now it's in the on position, but I'll turn it to the off position. Uh, and it basically turns on just like a regular stove. There's no oven. Um, these are the actually this is my first time looking in the cupboards and there are a million Korean food numbers that I really don't know anything of what it says uh, actually I don't know what these cups are either I, maybe some kind of tea cups oh and there's a few dishes in here 
and a couple little cups and more food signs because Koreans apparently love food. Um, these are cute little cups. Koreans seem to absolutely adore really cute things. Um, the Korean woman who was cleaning was very vigorously cleaning uh, and stuff still feels like the knobs still feel sticky on the cupboard doors and stuff just kind of smells different which I'm not sure if that's just different. Now for the wonderful studio because I have a studio apartment um, as you see I've already unpacked some of my stuff they gave me this coat hanger and overall the room kind of makes me feel like I am in the room of a I don't know five-year-old or eight-year-old perhaps um, it's really cute um, you know it's it's cute uh, I've got these doors sliding glass doors and there's actually another set right here uh, behind these doors is the laundry I already bought my bedspread and sheets. More should be coming in the mail. And I have actually unpacked all of my luggage except one bag. And miraculously, look at how small, even though all that luggage looked like so much stuff, um, basically it's all unpacked. Um, here's my tiny table. Um, Robert, this makes me think of you because I really have no idea how I'm going to survive with this tiny table because you know how I love putting things all over tables. And <laughs> I've already done it here on top of my nightstand and there on the other available surface. Um, I'm hesitant to put things in the drawers right now because I would like to give them a little wipe down. This is my laundry area. This is the washing machine they gave me. Um, luckily, once again, my Korean co-teacher kind of explained how it worked. Um, there is no dryer. Um, the majority of Korean clothes are dried by hanging. So they gave me a few hangers. Otherwise, I guess I'll just drape things over what looks like hat stands, but is probably some kind of drying rack. And then I've got that little cupboard. There are damn mosquitoes everywhere. So now I've got this box. This box, um, she didn't really explain what the bottom was to me. She said some kind of timer, but that's kind of vague. Um, basically, if I want hot water in the bathroom, I press the green hot water button. And the top knob is a temperature controller for the heated floors. So I guess heated floors are common in Korea. Okay. This is the bathroom. Looks very similar to the last bathroom. Um, it's a tile floor. There's one drain right here. As you see, once again, it's right by the toilet. Um, here is where the toilet paper is to be deposited. I already accidentally flushed one handful, not handful, but one tiny bit of toilet paper in the toilet because it's so hard to remember to put it in the basket. Um, I've already put some stuff here on the bathroom. Here I am filming. Hello. Um, this is my shower head. I haven't even attempted to turn it on yet. I've got a little window in here and a towel rack. And I really, I'm not sure what this... Oh, I don't know what that is. Could be for cleaning, maybe, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. But anyway, a little hose with a knob. And so this is basically where I'll be living for the next year. Um, I don't know if it's fully hit me yet. Maybe earlier, I think, when I was looking around and I kind of said to myself, wow, this is my home for the next year. Um, so...